largely if we are going to be a nation of laws and a nation of systems. And the systems that arbitrated on the elections are the systems we put in place ourselves. Mm -hmm. At the time when I was the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly of Kenya, and the parliament at that time, there was, not any other, there was no senate. We didn't have upper house. And Raila Odinga was the prime minister. We then created the Supreme Court of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Now that that has been determined fully by the institution, Chapakati was our product. Mm -hmm. We were part of the process that brought in Chapakati. And, 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 and all the judges, all the, what they call the commissioners, were there. So if, if uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, in a nation of laws and rules, that should be behind us. It's a closed chapter. Mm -hmm. We do have our grievances also now, though. When you have grievances on that, you just talk about for posterity. How do we make the electoral process in this country more fairer? You know, how do you, how do we, how do you reinforce it? A country like India, where you have millions of, hundreds of millions of people voting, and they know it, they follow the elections of everybody as it's happening, as you cast in your vote. People know how many votes this member of this candidate got or this presidential candidate got, and everybody, there's no presidential candidate in their case, it's all members of parliament. We could have done the same also. So we need to invest ourselves in technology to try and get from best practices in the rest of the world and make sure that we have a foolproof <coughs> election. But it, be that as it may, now that we have already experienced all that, I mean, we've had this. Right. We, you know, IPPG, we went out there into the streets mm -hmm. and we fought very hard. And we took away the powers of the appointment of 50% of the, of the commissioners and brought them to ourselves. And we appointed them. And the same election, the election that followed, we, we contested it and we said that the election was not free and fair. It was rigged. We came together right now and created demonstrations and everything else by saying, because the system at that time was a first past post system. Mm -hmm. Whoever has a simple majority <clears throat> that combined opposition votes was more than Moi's votes, which was true. But we didn't have a system that says the 50% plus one. We cured that through the constitution. Mm -hmm. You understand my point? We cured that through the constitution. And now we've got the 50 plus one uh, system, which means one has got to have uh, more than 50% more than of, the, of the country. Right. So in my opinion, more than anything else, what we should be looking at is how can we make the next election as safe as possible? Then, of course, we created, we were the ones who were responsible for the Isaac, Isaac, uh, you know, Hassan. Isaac Hassan uh, team. Borela mm -hmm. Odinga, uh, uh, myself, Farah Malim, and everybody who was there, we sanctioned Isaac to become the, the chair of that thing. Yes. And, and then, of course, then we claimed that we were rigged and he rigged us out, which I believe he rigged us out. <laughs> but the system rigged us out. I mean, the way they were that time. So what we need to do is we say, look, we have tried everything. Even if we appoint 10, all the, what they call the ABC commissioners ourselves there. Tomorrow, again, somebody is going to say that we, 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 you know, they've been bought and somebody can say anything. Or they've been influenced in one way or the other. And they are, they are all, we, we brought in Chapukati. We are the ones who brought him. Gulia, we are the ones who brought him. And, and, and again, we, we, we still claim that they, they, they have done this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so what, I, what I'm saying myself is that we have to eliminate the politics of personalities. Personalities. Is there a possibility in Kenya? Kibaki. Th th that's the point. You know, when, when he says, when, he, when, we, when we say, for example, in Azimia, our supporters, mm -hmm. I mean, that is a crap in my as far as when the other side said our supporters. No, we go for elections and we see who has won and we have a foolproof system and we trust the system. We don't trust individuals because then what will happen? I'll tell you. And that's why we have this disappointment every other time. I was a young man when I was when, when we were going through these things and putting together IPPG and had everything. The ECECs, you remember the NCEC. You remember NCC? Mm -hmm. and you, you were in the university that time. I'm sure for Chiang and yes, the rest yes, of them yes. were in the university. Yes. This guy must have been in primary school. We were fighting for change that time. But because we never got the system right, and every time it's a political negotiations, individuals who negotiate for their own expediency, then we still come back to the same. Because these two individuals will be friends today. Tomorrow they're enemies. Yesterday, Uhuru and Ruta were friends. Today, when we had the elections, they were enemies. 
There were sworn enemies. The day before, in 2007, we, uh, Ruto and Raila were on the same side. I think Ruto played a more bigger role than anybody else in OD ODM's elections of 2007. I was an actor, uh, and I, I was a part of the process that time. Mm -hmm. By 2013, they, they, were, they, were, they were not seeing eye to eye. You see what I mean? So even now, they can come together today. How is that going to change the country? You get my point? You talk about the cost of living. Mm -hmm. You know, let's be honest. I am not here as an apologist for anybody. I don't, I don't care about any of them. I, I've said this many times. I don't need Rayla. I don't need Ruto. I don't need Uhuru, anybody else to become a member of parliament. I became a member of our parliament from Northeastern province in 1992 as the only opposition member of parliament that time. Uh, sorry, along with another young man who passed on from Mandera. Mm -hmm. who was actually an independent guy. He was not in an opposition party. Mm -hmm. He was denied the kind of nomination and he became an independent guy. So today, if I want to go on whatever party, my community will still uh, elect me because the, the considerations there are not the considerations other people have here in Nairobi. But then I need a system that is foolproof. I need a system that is going to count my votes, not to have the, uh, different votes that are cast and different votes that are announced. And because we've been through all this time, okay. let us now insist on investing more in technology to make sure that regardless of who is going to be a chair of the IBC, regardless of who is going to be a, com a commissioner of the IBC, we have a system that cannot be, cannot, cannot be faulted and cannot be cheated. Okay. And those systems exist all over the world. Systems. They exist in there. Uh, yes, we need a system and, and, and invest in the system. We don't have to invest the reinvent the wheel. Otherwise, the same way I was counting to you right now from 1992 to 97 to 2002 to what do you call 2007 to 2015 when I was the chairman of the, uh, the welcoming party for Baba to come back from the States that time because we couldn't bear life in here. You know, the Jubilee government was just so bad. Right. But then what happened at the end of it? Mm. Did we get any institution, any benefits for Kenyans? No. Just the big guys got together. I, I hear and, you. The, and the popular, you see, when things are spontaneous, you, you have to solve them. For, for example, we, devoid of any politicians, any Raila or Farah or anybody else, if the masses just move one day and say this is not acceptable, you become you. It's, you have to. You have to resolve that problem. Deal with it. Okay. Oh, all right. So when the masses, but when the masses are called by a politician, a leader, mm. to come out into the streets and he leads them, then it's not a. It's not a popular. What they call a, a life or issues of the cost of living and the rest of it. It is a political cost. Uh, you, you understand my point? I, I uh, hear you. This is what I'm trying to say. Let us not get sucked you. into this. I, I, I hear you. Uh, and I'll uh, and the you. final benefits for this would be just for those actors who are there. The people will be taken advantage of tomorrow. I, I hear you, and I know, Fred, you want for to... For the respond. longest. But, but 